Okay, in this video I'm going to create a small wooden cube and some shaped blocks that will fit into each side. This video will show you how to turn a shape into a component, how to use the offset tool, how to use anchor points to move objects around more precisely, and how to render and add colour and textures. Okay, so before we start I'm just going to remind you about navigating around the screen. We use the scroll wheel on the mouse. We can hold that down to orbit. We can roll it to zoom in and out. And we can use the scroll wheel and shift to pan. Another thing before we get started is to make sure that we've got the settings set to millimeters. So I'm going to go down here to the eye in a circle, model info. I'm going to go to length units. And I'm going to just make sure that my settings are correct. So these are the settings that we want. Millimeter and display precision should be zero millimeters and length snapping should be one millimeter. Okay, so that's all good. I'm going to start by selecting the rectangle tool. I'm going to start at this center axis point. I'm going to click and drag and click again. And I'm going to type in 100, comma, 100 and enter and see there that it snaps to that size now I can zoom in and I can get rid of this guy he was useful um, for getting an idea of scale but now that I've drawn a shape he's not needed to give it some thickness I'm going to use the push pull tool and again it's a cube so this needs to be 100 so click and drop and then type in 100 and enter. Okay, so we've got our basic cube. Now what we're going to do is cut into each of these sides to create a shape. I'm going to start with the most basic and I'm going to start on the top. So zoom in. And we're, for this we're going to use the offset tool. So the offset tool is here. But if it's not on your menu, if you click on the three dots at the bottom to expand the menu, you can see it should be in there somewhere. Offset. Take your cursor over to the edge. Click and drag away and drop. And we're just going to make that about 10 mil from the edge. So 10 and enter. And next I'm going to use the push-pull tool again. And I'm just going to drag this top in again by about 10 millimeters. So that's our top face done, and we've got our square. Now I'm going to do a triangle, I think, on this side, and I'm going to do a circle on this side. So again, we're going to use the offset tool. Offset, click, drag, and drop. Type 10, and enter. And we, while we've got the offset tool selected, we can do this side as well. 10, enter. We're going to do the triangle now, so we want the line tool. The line tool looks like a pencil. We're going to select that. And now we're going to start using these, these snapping points and these anchor points. So if I move the line tool to this line and I just slide along, it will click or it will snap onto that midpoint. And it says there midpoint. So I'm going to use that as the top of the triangle. I'm going to click and drag down and snap onto this corner point to this anchor point. Do the same again to the other side. So we've got now got this anchor point and we can drag that down and again click. Okay. We need to use the eraser tool now because we need to get rid of the bits of the square that we don't want anymore. So here's the eraser tool. And I'm just going to click on those lines. You can either click on the line or you can actually hold it down and whatever line you pass over, it will delete. <coughs> okay, push-pull tool. And again, push that in to about, well, not about, exactly 10 millimeters and click enter. That's our triangle done. Now we're going to do our circle. To start the circle, I'm actually going to draw 
uh, a line down the center to help me find the center point for the circle. So I'm going to drag that along to find the center. There we go. Midpoint. Drag that down. Midpoint and click. Now that locks onto a center point in the center of the square. I need to select the circle tool. Drag that down to the center until it locks on to that midpoint. Click and drag up. Stay on the line so that you know that the circle is going to hit the edges of the square all the way around. Now hopefully you can guess what I'm going to do next. I'm going to use the eraser tool and get rid of all the lines I don't want anymore. So the edges of the square and the line that we use to find the center. Push pull, click, drag that in, type 10 and enter. Okay, so we're going to we're going to keep it like this for now. We could add more shapes and we might do that later. But right now we're going to turn it into a component. So we need the selection tool for this. I'm going to use the cur cursor to drag across. So click and drag across the whole of the shape and drop. And then over the top of the shape we're going to right click. Go down to component. So make component. And if you want to give it a name, you can just type in something like cube, toy cube, toy block, something like that. Okay. So when we select it now, you can see that that is, not, that is a component. You can tell because we're no longer able to select individual faces. If we want to edit this, we can do a couple of things. We can right click and go to edit component. Or we can just double click and it will do the same thing. Now we can see we can select faces and edges and corners and so on. Okay. We now want to draw, uh, create some blocks, some shapes to fit into these, um, these parts. So we'll start with the square. And we can draw that separately or we can actually use what we've got here. So we could draw it separately. We draw a shape and considering we've taken 10 mil off every side that now should be instead of 100 it should be 80. So 80, 80, comma, 80, enter. We could have just drawn it using the shape here we could have clicked onto the, uh, snapped onto those anchor points, and that would have done it for us as well. So that's an option. We might do that when we're doing the triangle. Push pull, drag that up, and we'll make that maybe 50 high. So something like that. And straight away, we're not adding any other details to this, so we can make it component. Drag over the whole thing, right click over the top. Make component, and we can call that one the square. Okay, now the easiest way to do the triangle, as I've mentioned, is probably just use the shape as a guide that's already there. So I'm going to use the line tool, and I'm going to click. We have to keep changing the angle in the view to do this. There we go. That's done. And I should now be able to use the push-pull tool and drag that out. And again, I'm going to drag it out to 50. Okay, select it. Make sure you've selected all of that shape without selecting this bit. Right click over the top, make component, triangle. And the other way to do this as well, we could have done this for the triangle, we could have done it for the square, is I can 
ed go into editor mode for this shape, edit component, and I could just select that face and copy, come out of that selection, right click, paste. So we could have done that for the square and the triangle. And now I can just use the push-pull tool. Again, 50 and enter. And again, hopefully you know what to do at this point, but that needs turning into a component. So select over the whole thing, right click, make component, circle. Okay. So now we've got the three uh, shapes. We can either put them in position first or we can render them first. We'll put them in position first. To do that we're going to use the move tool. So this is the move tool here. Now I'm going to try and select this triangle but at the minute the circle is selected so this is a good point. If Even if I'm hovering over the triangle because that circle is already selected, it will move the circle. Now the way to do to avoid doing that, or if this happens to you, is just press escape on your keyboard, press escape, and it will let go of the circle. And then you should be able to grab the shape that you want. I've clicked and I've dragged that out. I've dragged that out so that I can show you how to put them back into place. And again, we're going to use these anchor points. So we need to find somewhere that we can where we can snap two anchor points together. So if I grab this point, then I need to snap it onto uh, that point there. So I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to move it in, and rotate the page. Now if I hover over it this way, see the way it goes? They're transparent, and I can just snap it onto that point there. Now when we make circles, they're actually polygons, so you'll find that if you zoom in close enough, you'll see there are a lot of um, straight edges. So we can actually find points, and that means that it's quite easy to put them into position. So I'm going to grab this point, and I'm going to match it up with that point there. So I'll just zoom in a little bit there, and that's snapped onto position. And lastly, do the same with the key, with this square. Pick it up, rotate the, uh, the screen round a little bit, change the angle slightly, and just snap it onto that point there. Okay, so we've got our three shapes in place. And now we're ready to render the shape. So I'm going to go to this setting here, which is Materials. Click on Materials and click on Browse. And you can see here we've got a selection of materials and colours and so on. So I'm going to do the block in the centre first and I'm going to give it a, a wooden texture. I'm going to click on this wooden veneer. This seems to have the best resolution out of all of the wooden effects. So I'm just going to click on the cube on the center and that puts the effect straight on. And then I'm going to find some primary colors. I can either do red, yellow, and blue, which are the primary colors. But actually, I might use green, which isn't a primary color, is it? OK, so we'll start with red. Click, I'll do green, and I'll finish off with blue. And that's it. Okay, so we've got all of these are components that can be moved around. And what you could do, you've still got three sides left. So as an extension, as a bit of a challenge, you could add a shape to each of those sides and then make the shapes 
and fit all those in. So good luck with that and enjoy. <laughs>